When you think about Earth, you probably picture a blue, green, and white ball in space. But what else do you see? When I think of Earth, I think of just everything that's been happening. Uh, so just the formation of it, how it, we were basically dust and then turned into a conglomerate of just rock and it evolved and kept evolving. Every planet goes through the same process of planetary differentiation. You can take Mars and Jupiter, for example. They don't look similar, but they went through the same process of how they were formed. So how do we discover planets much like our own? My name is Alex Walshan. I guess I have to sort of not quite modestly say that I, I've been lucky enough to discover um, various things out there, pulsars, exoplanets, and some other <clears throat> phenomena that ended up being interesting. I've always been interested in, in, in astronomy and looking up, and already as a sixth grader back there in, in, in my homeland, Bond, I already knew a lot of names of constellations and I could recognize them in the sky. My dad was a little bit behind that because he was a scientist himself and he was kind of steering me a little bit in that direction, and it worked. Fulston has made many great discoveries during his time as a scientist, but one of his most memorable is being the very first person to find planets outside of our solar system. I had a lot of observing time I could use basically any way I wanted. On the largest radio telescope in the world, I started a survey away from the galactic plane, looking for millisecond pulsars, and one of them that I found uh, well, turned out to have planets around it. Of course, it didn't. It didn't become immediately obvious when I discovered it. It was only after a rather painful process mm -hmm. of follow-up observations. The best part about his discovery was that it was completely on accident when looking for millisecond pulsars, a type of neutron star. A neutron star is a star, but it spins unbelievably fast, um, meaning that its force would be uh, incredible. So uh, an another planet forming around that and being able to basically withstand that spin, that force, would be pretty impossible. I was not looking for planets. In fact, at, at the time, thinking about you know planets being formed around a neutron star was not a very popular, popular idea. At the time, I guess people were a little bit puzzled because we had a lot of indication that planets should be actually quite plentiful around normal sun-like stars. But somehow they didn't, didn't want to come up despite of the various efforts, mm -hmm. mounting efforts to actually discover planets around other stars. Even though this great discovery was made, some believe that Volsten did not get the recognition that he deserved. I've been uh, nominated to the Nobel Prize several times, including the year 2018 when my friends, Swiss friends, got the Nobel Prize for discovering the first planet orbiting a normal star, and I didn't get anything. He's the first to find an actual planet that survives around a neutron star. So it's definitely unfortunate that he wasn't able to actually receive the Nobel Prize for finding such a discovery. I was not that surprised. I mean, it was, of course, disappointing, but uh, not surprising. Because if you think about life and possibilities, possibilities for extraterrestrial life, then uh, planets around the neutron star are certainly not the environment that would be conducted to it. A discovery like this not only impacted Volstein, but all of humanity. A discovery like that is different. I mean, mm -hmm. so realize that this is something that is going to be quite momentous. Uh, not just something interesting for the world of astronomers or some specialist folks, but really for, for, for everybody who is interested in science and, and in the world around. So I still do remember that moment very well when I ran the final decisive tests on, on my computer. I, I did sit in front of that screen for a little while trying to um, kind of envision or imagine the consequences or just think about it. Though it may be hard to imagine making greater discoveries in his future, Volstian continues his research today, inching us closer to knowing more about our universe.